Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I will be fitting this Black Widow exhaust system to the CRF 1100. So first of all, I'll show you what's in the box and then we'll do the obligatory engine startup with the standard exhaust and then we can crack on and get this one fitted. So I have chosen to fit this longer Black Widow exhaust. And in the box we have one link pipe, bag of destructions, cutlass stickers, lanyards, very nice, thank you. We have some exhaust assembly paste, fixtures, clamps, fittings, that sort of thing. Now this is something that I ordered separately online, you can get these on Amazon or eBay. Um, this is for the exhaust servo that you have. Um, so there's an exhaust servo fitted to the original exhaust which you need to remove and I understand that if you just remove it you'll end up with um, engine management lights and stuff. So this gizmo costs about £45 um, and you're just going to remove the old one, plug this one in, jobs are good. Un. So let's do the uh, obligatory startup of the original exhaust then, so we can do a sound comparison. I've got to point out this. Somebody's actually took the time to put a, a proper metal Yoshi sticker on the original exhaust. Have you ever seen anything so sad? Just another reason to get rid of this big heavy lump. Right, let's start it up, see what it sounds like. In fairness to the Honda Africa Twin, it's not a terrible sounding exhaust right from new, but we can definitely do better than that. Right, okay, let's get this old exhaust off then. So first things first, we need to remove this heat shield. So we have one bolt and then you have two clips here that slide out on this one. So we can see we now have exposed three more Allen heads. There should actually be four, there should be four bolts here. This one's missing one by the looks of it. So there we go, we can see the clamp now under here that holds on the, uh, the end can itself. So first of all we need to, um, we'll just loosen this one up, don't remove this yet, and then we need to worry about removing the servo and disconnecting it from underneath the bike. So we got that one loose, so we'll have a look underneath the bike now and uh, get to the other end of this servo so we can remove that one. So we have these two Allen head bolts, there's a third on the side here and then round on this side there's two of the plastic pop rivets that we need to push out. So I'm just going to use a thin Allen key, just push in the centre of these plastic pop rivets. It's hard for me to show you this but you'll see. So just push them in in the centre gently. and then pull the little pop rivet out. Now we should be able to remove, yeah. So we can pull this plastic piece out of the way. And now we can see where the wires go into this servo unit and the electrical connector 
that we need to disconnect. So this is the electrical connector that we need to disconnect. And this goes to the exhaust servo and these cables. So we need to disconnect this one. So to make your life easier, you can just pull this straight out. It's connected on the uh, bike here with this little plastic clip. So now you should have a bit more room to manoeuvre and uh, try to undo this fella. So on this one, you can see on the end here, there's a bit of a tab. You're going to push that down and then you can separate the two. Lastly, next to this rectifier on the exhaust side, if you go in just above it, where my finger is, there's another one of those small plastic um, rivets. So you need to take your Allen key, push in the center and then release the, pull this one out towards you. It go between the exhaust side foot hanger and there is one more bolt here that you're going to undo and that should then allow you to wiggle out the exhaust servo from underneath the bike. Okay, so now as you can see we have the large exhaust servo unit disconnected from the bike. Now we can go ahead and remove the rest of the bolts holding on the end can. Next job then, undo these 12mm bolts here. So now that we have the clamp loose, we should be able to slide this one off in due course. So now we just need to undo the rest of the way this bolt. This is loose enough and we should be able to slide this whole unit away, taking the servo with us. This probably will have been there for some time, so it may need some wiggling. Make sure these are nice and loose. Oh, she's a heavy old beast. We don't need that anymore. Take this whole unit, store this somewhere in your garage for the next five years, make sure it's somewhere where you can trip over it most days. Pretty standard stuff. So there is the option of disconnecting this servo unit and taking these cables away. You can take these cables off of the original exhaust and reinstall that servo unit back under the bike but I've bought the servo eliminator kit. Um, it's so much smaller, it's a lot lighter. I'm just gonna plug that in and be done with this. So that's the easier option and that's what I would recommend. So here we have the Heeltech um, exhaust servo motor eliminator module. Gizmo to you and me. We're gonna take this one out, connect it to the block we were disconnected under the bike earlier, and then just cable tie this up out of the way somewhere just uh, it'll be covered by the plastic that we reinstall in a minute so we don't need to worry about it too much but just secure it so it's not rattling around so next up you just need to refit this plastic that you took out earlier on in exactly the same way that you took it out line it all up put the pot rivets through put your screws back in on the original exhaust servo, there is this piece of plastic here that really we want to fit back under the bike, just help stop the, uh, the dirt and water getting towards those electronics. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these screws and um, disconnect these cables just so I can get this piece of plastic back and then I can fit that back under the bike as well. And there's a third one here. 
that one is holding these cables in. So now we can just wiggle this free and we can refit this piece of plastic under the bike. So when reinserting these uh, little plastic ones, just push the centre back out and then push that into the hole it came out of and then push this one down to seal it in place. Excellent, good. So now we have these plastics back in. We've got our uh, servo eliminator plugged in inside, so now we can go ahead and refit the new exhaust. Next up we are going to fit the new link pipe and bits and pieces to the bike. My advice is don't tighten anything down, don't put any um, exhaust putty and stuff on there until that you know you've got it all on right and everything's lined up exactly how you want it. Then go around and, and fit it properly. So we're going to throw on our link pipe, then we're going to need one of these heat bracket and then we're going to need the exhaust clamp followed by another for the heat shield and I'm just going to nip this down just so it doesn't keep falling all over the place. Okay so as you can see this isn't done up tight it's just on there so it doesn't keep falling all over the shop. Now that one's going to go on there and cover up some of this. Okay, so we can see we have the link pipe on and we have the two heat shield things on for the bracket that's going to go on later. Everything's there, just loosely fitted at the minute. So next up is to fit this exhaust hanger bracket. That one goes up here. Again, we're only fitting everything just loosely for now until you've got everything in place and you know it's correct. Next up we're going to slide over this next one for the exhaust clamp. Grab your exhaust and slide that one on. And then the exhaust clamp is going to go over the top here. So you have all your pieces in place. They're all loose and you're able to move it around and everything. So and now you need to do a bit, of, a bit of wiggling and stuff until you manage to get it all to line up correctly. And then um, nip them all down and uh, just, you know, make sure you're 100% happy it's all in its right place before you tighten everything down. So you're happy you've got all your bits and pieces in place. You've lined this up, everything's up there, lined up well. So now you can go along and nip this one up, tighten this one. Tighten these brackets here, but don't tighten these yet. We'll do the heat shield last. So you're going to grab your washers. So screw. Screw, washer, free. Soft washer. Screw it into there.
Okay. So we're happy everything's tight. So what I would recommend now is to get some um, degreaser or some alcohol wipes or something and wipe down the exhaust because you can have fingerprints and marks all over it from working on the bike. When you start the bike, you're going to cook those marks into the exhaust. So give it a wipe down if you can. And there we go. Look at that. Now, I don't know exactly what the weight savings are, but we can say that that is a substantial to say the least. So, let's get it started up and see what it sounds like. This is the Black Widow exhaust on the Africa Twin CRF 1100. Baffle in. So now the Black Widow exhaust on the Africa Twin CRF 1100 with no baffle. I think that's loud enough. And on that fine note, we'll see you on the road next time.